Welkin, soldiers of Squad 7, that was some performance out there. We could never have held off that main force if it wasn't for you protecting the city. Well, we learned a lot ourselves. It's a shame our training was interrupted, but I think that battle taught us a lot more than exercises did. I'd say we're the ones who learned something. I saw that city after the battle. Honestly, it kind of shocked me. Barely any collateral damage. The roads, the buildings, you never know the war passed through. Oh. Well, of course. We're fighting to protect Galia, not destroy it. If we have to hurt our people, or harm our homeland for a victory, it wouldn't be a victory at all. I... I realize it must sound a little naive to you. After all, a war zone isn't really a place for sympathy. No, I understand. Even if we beat the enemy, it's all pointless if we don't have a home to come back to. So Squad 7 can protect Galia, and Squad E will face the Empire head-on. Kind of like that last battle. I figure it's the same for all of us. We just want this war over and our folks safe, right? Then you can just sit back and relax. I'm invincible, okay? The Empire doesn't stand a chance. Huh, <laughs> must be nice being a fearless idiot. You can be as confident as you want. Just make sure you don't get yourself killed out there, okay? And you really gotta watch what you say, lady, or you might catch some friendly fire. Gotta watch out for guys like you chasing the, uh, what was it? The junk in my trunk? What? No, hey, I wasn't... Lady, I wouldn't hit on you if you paid me. Oh, where'd that come from? I figured you were beyond being self-conscious about your dirty mind. You're a lot more feisty than I expected, too. Guess that explains why this guy is such a pushover. Hey, I am not! <laughs> Well, they're still arguing. Claude, His Excellency wants to speak with you. Ambassador Townsend? Okay, I'll be right there. Ah, Lieutenant Wallace. Fine work out there. Your swift response does you credit. Your Excellency, I'm just glad I could help. Well, if you wouldn't mind. There's something I'd like to discuss with you in private. Concerning? Let me be candid. There is a certain personal endeavor I would appreciate Squad E's assistance with. Rather than return to the front lines, I would have you head to Rodgreaves for the sake of a special mission. Rangrees? The mission itself is nothing terribly difficult, but you should know that failure is not an option. <clears throat> Rest assured, once we resolve this delicate matter, I will personally ensure you have a bright future in the... I'm sorry, sir, but we have allies waiting for our return to the front lines. If we stay any longer, I'm afraid it may have serious consequences for the operation, and for our allies. I can't endanger them on a promise of future glory, sir. We need tangible victories, ones we can fight for. We need to catch our train, sir. I'll pretend this conversation never happened. I see. That's a shame, Lieutenant Wallace. A terrible shame indeed. Ambassador Townsend, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Okay, looks like everyone's ready. We better get moving. Oh, wait! I've got some souvenirs for Squad E. It, is that more of your homemade bread? I thought I'd never have any again. I just baked it, so it should stay soft for a while. Maybe you could have it for lunch on the train. The most important part of baking is passion for your work. 
Alicia, you're going to be an amazing baker. Open your bakery. You have to put ads in the papers, okay? I promise I'll find you. Somehow. Wow. Um... Okay. It's a promise. Um... Riley? Thank you so much for teaching me about your technology. I thought maybe you could find some way to use this, so... Schematics? Is this for a smoke bomb? This is amazing, Isara! Did you come up with this yourself? It's still just a prototype. I can't get enough range on the smoke to make it useful in combat. But it's so close! All you need to do is fine-tune it a little. See, if you modify the exhaust valve's shape... The exhaust valve? Oh, of course! I never would have thought of that! See? Perfect! I'm sure we can make this smoke bomb work. Um... Isara? Yes? I, uh... I was just thinking, once the war's over, maybe we could meet up and, um, talk tank designs. Of course. Careful out there, Mr. Invincible. Get riddance, you perv. I don't want to see you sniffing around my doorstep again. You hear me? <laughs> you can't keep me out. Golly is my home, and I'll be back before you know it. Well, not great at goodbyes. It's time to go. Makes me wish we'd met under different circumstances. I think we would have been good friends. What's that supposed to mean? We are friends, aren't we? <laughs> I know I'm not gonna forget our time together. Or Alicia's bread, for that matter. I won't either. <laughs> It'd be hard to forget you going back for a fifth helping. <laughs> oh, really? Welkin, and everyone in Squad 7, thank you for sharing your courage with us. We'll protect Galia, we promise. So Claude, go end this war. This is all over. I'll meet you back in Galia. Yeah, it's a promise. Well, Squad E, it's time to head to the front lines. <sighs> I was just getting to know them. And now we have to head back? But we've got a job to do. Still, it'll be fine. We'll see each other again. Seem like good people, right, Claude? Whoa, Raz is praising another squad? Did you hit your head out there or something? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Man, I get no respect. For now, I think Ollie is safe with them. But well, we gotta get back here after all this. All of us. Yeah, we're all coming back. And soon enough, we'll be breaking bread again. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Wilkin Gunther. I've been assigned as a tank driver. Hopefully I don't disappoint you. Alicia Melchiot, proud member of Squad E. I'll do my best out there. Call me Rosie. And you're picking me, huh? Good call, hotshot. Name's Largo. I'm a Lancer. Just point me at a tank, and I'll get it out of your way. Thank <laughs> you.